Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Question, why do we slow down when we age? Why can't we keep moving like we do when we're in our 20s? With speed, power, why is that? Even the ones that include physical activity throughout a lifetime always succumb to slowing down. Doctors will tell you, oh, but that's normal part of aging. But is it? Why? Why do I have to move slower? A study was conducted to determine this very question. The study is entitled, Habitual Physical Activity Levels Do Not Predict Leg Strength and Power in Healthy, Active, Older Adults. As we get older, our muscles tend to become smaller and weaker, especially in the legs. This can lead to problems with moving around and doing everyday tasks. Muscle size and strength usually go hand in hand when you're younger. However, in older people, this connection gets a bit wonky. The muscles can become weaker at a faster rate than they actually shrink in size. So you can see a 70 year old doing pull ups really good, some of these guys on YouTube, but they can move like a young man. Also, the speed of which the muscles can contract, squeeze, slow down as we age. This means that the ability to quickly generate force, like pushing or lifting something heavy, decreases more than just the raw strength. For example, think about quickly catching yourself from stumbling. That requires both strength and speed. In older people, this quick burst of power becomes especially important. It's like having a fast and strong reflex, which you don't see that in old people. In older people. Measuring this muscle power in older adults can be a bit tricky. But scientists have come up with ways to do it using special exercise machines. These machines are like workout machines, equipment that measures how strong and quick someone's leg muscles are. And that's what this study used. I keep saying this, staying physically active is really important for keeping muscles strong as we age. Some studies show that older people who walk a lot can help protect the strength of their muscles, but at a small level. Walking doesn't do much. I'll explain why later. But when we look at the bigger picture, it's not always clear how regular physical activity relates to muscle strength and power as we age. Actually, there's no connection at all. So the goal of this study was to compare how the leg muscles of older and younger people work during exercises like leg presses. They also wanted to see if there's a connection between how active people are and how well their muscles perform. The participants of this study were 50 older adults between 60 and 80, 65 and 80 and 30 younger adults between 20 and 35, they took part in this study. So it's a human study. All were healthy, didn't smoke, had a body mass index below 30, didn't regularly take anti-inflammatory medication and didn't have any reason major injuries. So let's get right down to the nitty gritty. What were the results of this study? What did they find? The main discovery was that older people can't move their legs as quickly or push as hard as younger people when they're pressing with their legs. This makes their peak power, which is the strongest burst of movement, much lower. The muscles on the side of the upper leg, called vastus lateralis, are thinner in older people. But even when they took that into account, their ability to push or move is still weaker compared to younger people. But why is this? Even though older people were somewhat active, they didn't have as much strength in their leg muscles. They measured their activity and found that the older group was less active than the younger group less active, okay? But when they looked at the specific type of activity that really challenged muscles, like brisk walking or more intense exercise, all the people actually did more of that than the younger people. They did more of it, but they moved slower. It's been known for a while that as we get older, our muscles get weaker. The data supports this. For example, the maximum force the muscles can produce was 33% lower in older people compared to the younger ones, and the maximum power was 51% lower. According to this study, the muscles on the side of the upper leg were also thinner by 19% in the older participants. This is why they had less power. There are different reasons why muscles get weaker as we age, like changes in how our brain signals our muscles to work, or changes in the structure of our muscles. Regardless of why it happens, losing muscle power as we get older is a big problem.
They also looked at physical activity and muscle strength in all the people, and it turned out that how active they were didn't really predict how strong their muscles were. This was very surprising to researchers, as they would expect being active to help a muscle strength, but it seems that the kind of everyday activities all the people do might not be the best for building muscle strength and power. So in other words, walking, or they tell you to walk 10,000 steps, that does nothing for you. You are being misled by doctors and scientists with this nonsense about moderate training, it doesn't help your muscle health. So how do we improve muscle power? To build and maintain muscle power as we age, it's important to engage in exercises that focus on both strength and speed. Here are some types of exercises that I do that can help you improve your muscle power and keep it youthful. Number one, resistance training. This involves using weights, resistance bands, or your own body weight to challenge your muscles. Focus on exercises that target major muscle groups, such as squats, lunges, leg presses, push-ups, seated rows, pull-ups. Gradually increase the resistance or weight over time. Continue challenging your muscles. The next exercise that I do, plyometric exercises. These are explosive jumping type movements that help improve muscle power. Examples include squat jumps, box jumps, and medicine ball throws. Plyometric exercises involve rapid muscle contractions, which are important for building power. The next exercise, HIT, high intensity interval training, which I also do. HIT involves alternating between short bursts and intense exercises and brief periods of rest. This type of training can help improve both cardiovascular fitness and muscle power. Include exercises like sprinting, jumping jacks, burpees. These are great. The next exercise that I also do is circuit training. Circuit workouts combine strength exercises with aerobic activities in a sequence. This approach can help improve both muscle strength and endurance. Include a mix of resistance exercises and short bursts of high intensity cardio together. They work. The next one is functional training. Mimic movements you use in daily life, such as bending, lifting, or reaching to enhance muscle power in a practical way. Examples include picking up objects from the ground, carrying groceries, and this is what I like doing, climbing stairs. The next exercise that I do, balance and coordination exercises. These exercises challenge your muscles in difficult, dif different ways and help improve overall muscle control, which is essential for maintaining youthful muscle function. Activities like yoga, which I do, Tai Chi, balance drills, which I do balance drills also, can be extremely beneficial. Next one that I also do is sprint training. Incorporating short sprints into your routine can help improve leg muscle power and speed. Find a safe and suitable location such as a track and gradually increase the intensity and duration of your sprints. Remember, it's important to start gradually. Don't, don't go crazy and consult with a healthcare professional before beginning any new exercise program, especially if you have underlying health conditions. A well-rounded fitness routine that includes a mix of different exercises, along with proper nutrition and adequate rest, can contribute to building and maintain muscle power as you age. To sum it up, in conclusion, this study showed that even if older adults stay active, their leg muscles still get weaker. This means that if they want to keep their muscles strong as they age, they might need to do special exercises that focus on building muscle strength and power. Results of this study suggest that regular everyday physical activity might not be enough to significantly build muscle power in older people. Walking is not enough. While staying physically active, like walking or doing light activities can help maintain some muscle strength and function it is not sufficient to improve or build muscle power, especially in the legs where it's needed. Therefore, for the older fellas who want to maintain or improve their muscle power, it is I recommend to engage in targeted exercises specifically designed to increase muscle strength and power, such as the ones I mentioned in this video. Hope you enjoyed the information. I've been preaching this over and over in my channel but I don't get a lot of views because it's not a magic pill.
Remember, mTOR deactivation won't help you if you trip and fall. NMN or any other supplement is not going to help you. You need to train. I wish you all the best and see you in my next video. Stay healthy, everyone.